Hello all and welcome to the next lesson of the HTML tutorial. In today's lesson, we will uh, learn about image maps. Let's say if on a website, I have a single image with different products or different sections and I want the client to click on different sections and get some more information about the product or they may be directed to some other web page or uh, we may give them some uh, pop-up message about that particular thing. So this is a single image and I want different sections on this single image to be clickable. For that purpose, I will be needing image maps. So let's go and see how we can create image maps. So let me open the source code of this file. So we have added a single image into this uh, section, into this web page. This image is products.jpg. This is the alternative text to the image. For that mapping, we need to add an attribute use map. And I, I'll need to create this uh, products map into this particular into this particular uh, web page. So let me go and uh, have this map here so we can create a map like this. So we need to use the map tag and we need to specify the name attribute to this map tag. Now this name attribute products must be similar what we are using here referring. This is basically internal linking. So we are linking this uh, use map attribute with the products object this is the map object so we have specified the name products this needs to be similar here in the use map attributes inside the map we need to create different shapes so we have lots of areas and shapes options like we can have a rectangular area we can have a circle area so we'll need the area tag inside this map so let's say if we want to create area one and let's say if we want to create area number two for example so we need two area tags and let's say if you want all these uh, six images to be separately clickable basically this is single image but we want these six separate sections to be separately clickable then we need to create six area tags so currently i'm explaining only two area tags one rectangle and the other uh, circle shape so let me create first this rectangle uh, area so for that purpose we need to use area tab and specify the attribute rect that is a rectangle then we need the coordinates we need the coordinates of that rectangle so we need the coordinates let's see how we can get the coordinates so for that we need to open this image with some image editing software. Let me open this uh, with the uh, paint only. So you can see if I take my mouse, if I take my mouse here on top, you can see it's 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 the cursor that will give me. So this is my cursor and on the bottom you can see this uh, here you will be able to identify in the bottom. Please just note here we'll see the coordinates of that particular point. So I'm on this point and the coordinates you can see 250, comma 80 px so i'll specify these coordinates here i'll specify 250 comma 80 so this is a initial coordinate and then i will need to write the end uh, coordinates as well so let me go back into the paint and let me identify the second coordinate so this is uh, let's say 410 and 180 downwards you can see in the status bar 410 let's say and 180 so i'll specify 410 and 180 so these are the coordinates of the rectangular shape now we can simply mention let's say laptop and i can give a hyper reference to any other page if i want let's say if i have some laptop.html page then i can refer this to that laptop.html page right so let me save this and show you how this area now clickable now see this is the mouse once i get inside this laptop it's clickable this is clickable and once i get out of this area it's non-clickable so now we can click on this and you can see this is laptop.html web page we can design this web page and 
uh, we can have more and more information. So this is how we can create a rectangular area. This is an image map inside the image. Let me see that if I want some information, so instead of uh, referring it to some other page, let me use the JavaScript. <clears throat> so let me add the onClick uh, attribute and give some alert message to the user so that once the user uh, click on that particular area this is laptop so uh, we are giving some additional information to the user with the help of the JavaScript's alert function and this is on click this has to be on click right so let me save and go back and refresh this and now once I click you can see this is a laptop this is only up here once I click inside this area if I click here right I'm clicking but nothing is happening so if I click here then only I'll get the message inside anywhere inside this area I'll get this message but outside this area I'll not get any message so this is how we can connect this separate area section uh, and we can uh, provide some message to the user or we can direct them to some other web page as well with the help of the hyper reference now let's uh, talk about one another shape that is a circle let's say if we want uh, this uh, circle shape let's say if I want this in a circle shape then how we can do this for that again we'll go to the paint and we'll get the center of this circle we'll get the coordinates of the center so we can see the coordinates it's around 555 and 314 pixels 515 and 314 pixels so we'll mention here 515 comma 315 let's say if I write 515 comma 315 and I want the radius till where I want the circle if I go to this extent so it's the different from 315 let's say if I say uh, 40 pixels if I take a radius of let's say 40 pixels so this is the radius of that particular section so I'll say I'll write headphone and let me add uh, the alert or we can say the hyper reference headphone.html so if I have the headphone.html page I'll be able to click so let me refresh and now you can see this is a circle very small circle so I need to increase that the radius of uh, this area let me increase the radius from 40 to let's say 100 if I increase the radius then I'll have a larger circle and now you can see I have a larger circle and outside this circle there is nothing clickable and this is uh, you can see this is a okay this is a circle so I need to adjust a little bit uh, coordinates of this and you can see on clicking we are here on the sub file and this is your uh, message and this is your hyperlink so I can uh, adjust this a little bit more I can shift this to right hand side a little bit I need to shift this to right hand side a little bit let me use uh, 545 and let me reduce the radius so now let's check what happens uh, let's go to the web page and refresh and now you can see it's a more uh, better area which I can click on so you can see this is how we can create the image maps with the help of the coordinates of the image and now we have different sections, different clickable sections on a single image. This is the advantage of the image map. So I hope you have understood the uh, image map. Feel free to ask your uh, questions. If there are any, use the comment box. Thank you so much. We'll meet in the next tutorial.